So nice to meet you. Welcome to Genoa. I know that maybe you have been before, I think so, or it's the first time that you are in Genoa. Okay. So we we are in the, one of the uh, most one of the most important uh, room of the, of this palace. It's an apartment on the front over there. There is a, a big picture of Christopher Columbus. That you know that they say that they discover America. So uh, and he is. So that there were two figures very important for our city. I think that apart from welcoming you, maybe it would be great if you like that we may do a sort of a short visit to another room that is over there. There, there used to be the room where the mayor of the city and all the uh, deputy ma mayor for all of the uh, I don't know where. How we we are we, we work in a, in Italy. We have a, ma a mayor of the city and then uh, a sort of ambassador of every uh, sector of, uh, for example, culture, uh, economy, uh, and so on. You know. So there was there were uh, there, there is a, a room over there. There was the, the old room where we used to do the, the meeting one once a week. And then maybe we we can go also to visit the. Uh, famous violin of, that was owned by Niccolo Paganini. Uh, we have several musicians, musicians here, so you might be excited to see the Paganini the violin. violin. Oh, have you heard of Paganini? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you like, if you prefer just to have a, a short visit around uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, this, this floor, I think that it will be great. We see some very good and important it's a secret room that it's usually secret room. people don't see. So welcome to the city of Genoa. I'm, I'm really happy that you are here. Um, I, I, met, I met the professor just a couple of years ago last time, and I'm happy that you continue to come to the city of Genoa. Uh, where are you from? As all of us, all of you in Australia? Good. China? Okay, good. Where from China? Which city? Shenzhen? Okay, I've been there for a couple of times. I was used to have a vendor over there for, for hardware, so they doing a good job. So, Genoa was the richest city in the, in the world in, in the 1600s. As you can see from the palaces, Garibaldi, the rolling palaces, all those palaces that really demonstrated how rich was the city. And now we want to recover, not being the richest city in the world, and probably today doesn't make any sense anymore, but we really want to have a very high quality of life. The standard of life, the quality of life that we have here is definitely very impressive and they can compete with a lot of other places. That's what we are very proud of and what we should keep going and making better and better every single day. One of the ladies was asking me about the flag. He, she said, why have you got the English flag? And I said, no, 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 it's not the English Are you talking flag. about this one? Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is our flag. We got from the Crusades in the 1100 when the Imbriaco, the big admiral from the city of Genoa, came back with a flag and a lot of because he was the guy that actually helped all the crusaders to convert to Jerusalem. Okay, so he came back with a lot of money and he became an hero here and he brought the flag. And around the 1300 to 1400 those years, the, we got the first contract in 1422. And the contract between the Doge of Genoa, so the head of the Republic of Genoa, and the, um, what was the name? Richard V. In England, they had a contract saying that the England fleet can use the Genoa flag in the Mediterranean area in order to protect the fleet from the pirates. Because the Genoa flag was very well respected. Everybody knew at that time if, if you attack a, a ship with a Genoa flag, for sure it will be, it will be captured by the Genoa fleet sooner or later and, there is, and you're going to die. So, for this reason, the English fleet decided to use the general flag. 
and uh, they pay a fee for that. Believe it or not, that's true. They pay a fee up to 15.99, and now 15.99 they stop paying the fee, and you don't pay anymore. If you go in England right now, that is the flag of England. If you go in London, then uh, in the uh, inside of the London, of the city of London, that's exactly this so. Okay, so. I asked the Queen to give me the money back. <laughs> the Queen answered very, <laughs> not really, well, uh, we're still discussing about that. 